Hi guys, welcome to Cinecary. On last week's Glee, the New Directions continued to say their goodbyes to the club that changed their lives. This week, Holy Holiday and April Rhodes try to pull one last miracle to save the New Directions. Meanwhile, Tina freaks out about her future again and Sanjana does the unthinkable. As the fate of the Glee club becomes a reality, April and Holly hatch a plan to save the New Directions. Meanwhile, Rachel and Santana attempt to make amends after their blowout fight. Holly is so cool that even Sue likes her. Apparently, the two are a part of this thing called Team Gorgeous where they dress in a similar jumpsuit and tie bandanas around their knees. As always, Tina freaks out about her future and her anxiety is totally understandable because she's a high school senior but her constant mopping has gotten old. However, in this episode, the writers got a little creative. When Tina suddenly faints in the choir room, she has a dream sequence in the style of Friends. A bunch of the Glee kids recreate its unforgettable opening credits and there's a brief sitcom moment-like sequence. The laugh track is corny but we commend the writers for changing things up. It was entertaining. No one gets Santana like Brittany. She's able to figure her out so easily and that's understandable because of the love they share for each other. In a touching scene, Brittany asks Santana why she's going after Rachel's Broadway gig. After all, that has never been her dream. This makes Santana react and she admits that she's been mean-spirited. So she calls the truth between her and Rachel and quits the show. Now the two can go back to being awesome friends, hopefully. In the end, Holly and April fail to save the new directions, but they do one last nice thing for Mr. Shu. They gather all the Glee kids and put together a video for Will's unborn child. Everyone praises Mr. Shu for bringing this club together. It was a sweet and touching way to end things. Graduation, on the other hand, was a giant cheese fest. Tina decides to announce mid-graduation that she got into Brown and forms a huge circle with RT, Blaine and Sam. Then Sue decides to let Brittany graduate even though she dropped out of McKinley months ago. Seriously, how is that even possible? The new directions are officially over and they said goodbye the right way. There were a lot of nostalgic moments but few were over the top. The performances were also great, especially Holly's rendition of Eddie Murphy's Party All Time. Now, it's on to New York. This is all we have for now. Do tell us what you feel by leaving your comments below. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to Cinecari for all the latest short films, celebrity gossips and movie reviews.